Wave. Say hi. Can you say hi to all the internet people? Did we go to Washington, D.C.? No. Where did we just get back from? D.C. Yes. D.C. Oh, hey, fancy seeing you here. Hey, guys. I'm Brittany. I'm Nick. And we just went to Washington, D.C. with our daughter, Olivia, who's not here. She's sleeping. So I work within the travel industry, which means we do all of our traveling on standby. AKA, we don't know if we're getting on a flight until... We get on the flight. Yeah, which sometimes is right when it's ready to take off. So sometimes it's wide open and we have no problems. Other times we are at the last minute scurrying to figure out if we're going to get there um, or if we need to try and find somewhere else to go. So it's really kind of a stressful at times kind of thing to be relying on but at the same time we get to go to a lot of cool places and it's a lot of fun so this weekend we decided to go to Washington DC and everything worked out luckily. Yeah. First time in a long time we actually didn't have to stress and we didn't have to have Brittany sitting. <laughs> Sorry, oh my gravy. <laughs> All right be serious. Okay. okay. <laughs> I would say a good like 90% of the time we're always concerned if we're gonna actually get on the flight or not. And by we, I mean she. I don't care. Okay, I'm checking the list like, you know, every five minutes. Like Santa. Checking it twice, and three times, and four times. But this time, it was wide open. So, we didn't have to worry at all. Brittany got the good side of the approach. I'm a little bitter about that. So this is essentially a look at what to do in 24 hours in Washington, D.C. because that's all we had. 22. 22 hours in Washington, D.C. So okay. our first day, the weather was pretty awesome. Yes. I mean, it it was like what, like 60 degrees almost? Yeah, and we went to a museum. Yeah, so we didn't really, we didn't plan, well we don't plan too much, but we, did, we definitely didn't plan. This was a planning fail. Very, very much so. So the nice day that we had, we went to the Air and Space Museum and the Smithsonian. stayed at the Hotel DuPont Circle. That's the one. That's the name of our hotel. Um, normally when we stay in hotels, they're pretty kid-friendly, but this one was like especially kid-friendly. She still has the cat they gave her. Not a real cat, but a stuffed cat. I have it somewhere around here. No, she's sleeping with it. I know. She? Okay. Yeah, when we checked in, they gave Olivia a little stuffed cat. And then, so she got not one, but two stuffed animals because when they brought the bags, they gave her a second stuffed animal. Not only that, but then we went to dinner, our first day there, and when we came back, what did they have? Milk and cookies? Yes. 
He surprised Olivia with a tray of cookies and some milk. And she went nuts. She took a bite out of each of the cookies. Just one bite out of each of the cookies, and there were like 15 cookies. That's a lot of cookies. Yeah. And then that's probably why she didn't sleep that night, because she was full of sugar. And no, she just stinks at sleeping <laughs> in hotel rooms. She's trying to help her case, all right? No. Jeez, lay off. <laughs>